All right, hello, Internet. Welcome back to Stasis. John, in the ear? Ear, you? Ah, oh, damn it, I'm going to keep track of what the chapter uh, titles are. You got to check that first letter. Damn it. They can't be pulling the same thing. Just because we're in space and there's there's meat monsters and there's a tram. And we've got inconsistent images of our loved one uh, who's likely dead. You know what? <laughs> Maybe it's a little dead space. I mean, I'm going to say again, right. like I said last week, the two major influences for this are Dead Space and Event Horizon. And if you're familiar with either of those things, they make themselves very... They, 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 that influence is worn on its sleeve. Yeah, no, I think it is it's pretty clear to make those inferences. Wait, is is Taya the doctor we were talking to last time? No, okay. Taya is a uh, she's a, a botanist. Okay. Oh yeah, so here in here you'll see the you'll hear the um, the ship's AI occasionally refer to this ship as the tower. Huh. And according to the game's lore, the tower. Um, the tower was the original name for this ship back before the Kane Corporation bought it, like a couple decades ago. Okay. In what sort of anyway, she's universe do you hire a man named Garrodus Milan? Outside the ship lore, it feels like they may have changed it halfway through uh, voice acting. <laughs> Just like Dai Katana. <laughs> Also, random parts of the ship just filling with water. Yeah. Say, there's like, a worrying trend of uh, people trying to kill uh, protagonists with subway trains that are out of control. <laughs> All right, so right now that door in the bottom right is in contention for most useless mechanical activity. <laughs> <laughs> But it has it has the most useful uh, exposition activity. Yeah, it looks okay. Man, this perspective. It also holds you here. It holds you here about twice as long as it needs to. <laughs> uh, so one of the things they explain there that's they spent a long time explaining to us what PDTs were because those are going to be important to the rest of the game. Ooh, okay. are they going to be a mechanic? Kind of. They're going to be an important plot point. Exactly. So this is our act two. Okay. That was fast. Oh wait, no, but act two is supposed to be the biggest act, isn't it? Generally. Yeah. A gloomy doorway. Gloomy doorway. Aren't we a bit beyond gloomy right now? After traipsing through the meat swamp? <laughs> Why is the uh, descriptive text narrating at us? <laughs> what is the perspective character? It's always character? been doing that. Uh, we are... Mountain images. Yeah, so it, this is also... If you've seen, like, Sunshine, they've got that kind of aesthetic going on in the ship. Also, like, the, the, the last bit of Assassin's Creed 1. What the hell? Jesus. Oh, man, that was sonically pleasant. <laughs> Help me. I'm Dr. glad Rick you brought me along. <laughs> Rick Grimes? This fucker just grew eyes. I'm getting sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. I didn't get this degree just so that I could stitch idiots up when they accidentally stab themselves with a pen. I want to do fun experiments. Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and sew new arms onto people or anything. The human spiders would be, That'd be cool. cool. It's a miracle! Security somehow ended up passing a container for one of the cloning vats onto me. It's labeled Samantha. They understand it's to be transferred to Lab 18, right? Oh well, no reason I can't observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyalist as Miriam make up excuses for me. 
This creature is marvelous. The notes included don't say much, but I'm pretty sure she didn't have a fully formed spine when they packaged this girl up. It describes her as ju being just a tail. There's some other bones as well, but I didn't major in monster anatomy. Wish I had, though. This fucker grew eyes. I mean it. She didn't have these the last time I checked. They're rudimentary, sure, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm going to take credit for Samantha entirely. I mean, they can't prove that there was anything more than some stem cells in that container the last they saw it, right? From now on, Samantha's mine. Can't wait to see what she turns into. Lab 18's definitely getting suspicious and impatient. I'm running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so I know she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab. All of them. So there's my job security. This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter. I twisted a muscle in my knee. It's going to be a long lockdown spent bandaging people up without any access to the full medical wing. Samantha isn't mine anymore. Some other pool floor can take responsibility for this one. <laughs> I heard shrill, shrill screams coming from the entertainment area. The person last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. So without seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Anyway, these uh. screams were like that, only more intense. The screams of the dying are like the emergency bulkhead. No sign of Miriam. <laughs> also, you're going to notice I keep reading these faster and faster because my patience with these text logs grows shorter. Yeah. No. <laughs> I say it definitely went over the line from clever to cloying. <laughs> yeah, I'm that, just gonna say like that one. That one took me out of it from the beginning when the guy's like, "Oh, I'm tired of taking care of people. I wanna, I wanna have experiments." <laughs> Not like I'm a mad scientist or anything. It's a, it's a little heavy-handed. Anyway, remember they said they brought Samantha in in an iron lung. Oh, good, a metal tomb. When she was just a tail. I'm not sure. Oh God, damn it. That was, that was a little jarring with the the voice clip. I think this is it. Excellent. You need to get your blood sample onto the receiving tray. And uh, I'll do the rest. Fortunately, we still have that empty needle. Oh, good. <sighs> There's no way we could not yeah. have that needle, is there? Uh, you can't lose it now. Okay. Yeah, we needed it at the beginning. That would be- that would suck if you could just softlock the game. Let me just squirt some of my blood onto this slab. I'll tell you science a thing. And now it's- it's got a centrifuge spinning. Wow. I don't think you need to spin the blood for that sort of test. Well, it can be helpful. Look. Fuck. Some sort of human plesiosaur. <laughs> uh. Oh man, it's another one of those windows from Independence Day. Man, I'm getting... Specifically the window from Independence Day. God damn. Also, there was a PDA in there that I missed, which we can't read now, sadly. Do you think I'm it was a... good? Is it better than the last one? I don't remember what it said, so I don't think it's what? vital. <sighs> That? Something about someone growing affection for this tail lady. You picked up a flash in the scanner. A crew member. <laughs> I wasn't a crew member. <laughs> I wasn't even a person. So remember, she's saying that she's picking up things on the scanner. scanner. Right. And the scanner registers the PDTs. Right. Go to start the uh. I thought it was pretty clear that there were weird genetic bad things happening. Yeah, yeah, when we when we swam through that clone juice. Yeah. I assumed it was the that that was the case, but I didn't make that logical connection. Just let me know when the scan's finished. Secondary containment is now accessible. Head through to the other tram station. And granted, I didn't know they were crew members. I figured they were mostly victims of said crew, but. Mm -hmm. Really, I was expecting to already get something like. Uh, Either your blood's not in the system, or your blood's already in the system. Who are you? And now we introduce the antagonist, Naf Badman. <laughs> this door has been used frequently. <laughs> this door has, this door yeah. has been. <laughs> this door has been used. Acrid frequently. gas. <laughs> Yeah, so you can also hear these. You can also hear these banging industrial club jams coming through one of the doors. Oh man, sleep blocks. Yeah, he's ready for an alarm clock jump scare. 
I am. Uh, not many of that, but who's ready for crew logs? Oh, uh. no. <laughs> who's ready for a lot of... Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Why is it like that? <laughs> this is a place where people sleep. <laughs> Every time someone gets up to piss, it's like a, you know, <laughs> a giant yeah. robot stomping down the hall. Every morning, just... <laughs> oh, nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great at breathing. All right, who wants to take this next one? Uh, I can take it. But I'm, uh, I'm going to get it. progressively sillier, I warn you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have it no other way. Holiday on Monday. One, two, three, five, eight. Zero, one, two, three, five, eight. That actually has no significance to anything. Maybe it's an ARG. Maybe. Alright, go for it, Matt. Another long day in hydroponics. I planted carrots today. This place seriously sucks, but I figured the longer I work for Kane Corp, the sooner they'll be able to replace this defective uterus of mine. Huh. Okay, that... Hmm. <laughs> Harry's protective, and not in a cute way. Makes me feel uncomfortable. His attempts to protect my honor whenever Grant looks at me are unnervingly familiar. Just like my ex-husband used to do. I'm not ready for another round of that bullshit. This is taking on a tone I didn't expect. Half the ship's been on lockdown for two long weeks. Apparently some scientists boarded today, so maybe they'll be able to resolve the issues. But what do I know? I make vegetables reproduce for a living. That's a weird way to put that. <laughs> I have to admit, Harry's whole stalker thing can be great sometimes. He's growing herbs for me so I can make tea. With all this new security bullshit, I wouldn't dare use company resources personally like that. I've been pretending to like... I've been pretending to like Grant. Huh. Just a little bit. I don't, but it keeps Harry on his toes. Okay, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> oh, it gets weirder. I guess that's why he got the video footage. Harry opted to stay on the Groom Lake for another round. He was eligible to leave at the shift change, but he chose to stay. Gee, I wonder why he'd do that. He's a grown man, for goodness sake. Not He's acting like a lovesick teen. He needs to stop calling me Belle. It's Isabella. Like the like queen the of Spain. Hearing chatter about a fungal growth growing all over the groom like, let's hope it doesn't get here to hydroponics. I'd be devastated if anything happened to my precious celery. The celery. Huh. Spoke way too soon. Came into Hydro today to find everything coated in this strange fungus. Harry actually had a pretty good idea. What if we fought the fungus with genetically enhanced super mushrooms? What? What? <laughs> there better have been a reason to think that. <laughs> nope. Crossbreed mushrooms <laughs> did not improve things. Hopefully the emergency rations will get here soon. Unless people want to eat the portobellos from hell, that is. This shit's about to get dangerous. Who makes super vegetables on a whim? People have been think getting super beaten up. Are gonna help? Some are even dead. We've had a lockdown before, but not a mass panic like this. Will it be on s over soon or ever? Harry told me to stay in the sleeping block because he thinks I, it's dangerous outside. You know, I've taken care of myself for 28 years without help from Harry. I think I can handle myself. I'm not going to spend the final days of my life playing the helpless female, and I'm not going to cling to Harry, even if he's the last human being I will ever see. He can't expect anything from me. <sighs> Jesus. All right, who wants the next one? So anyway, this is a uh, part one of like a five-part uh, love triangle. Five? It's not a triangle. <laughs> it's a five-pointed triangle. No, it's Pentagon. not. It's, it's it can't be that, Matt. <laughs> Couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed today. Nobody came asking questions though, so that works. Shelby Isaacson. That is the weirdest way to spell Isaac. <laughs> Sometimes when I wake up, I wait as long as I can to say my first word of the day. Then that word serves as my prediction of how shitty the day's gonna be. Naturally, Isabella woke me up by asking if I'd rather fuck Grant or Harry. I thought she was supposed to be some kind of feminist who didn't need a man. Hypocrite. Anyway, to answer the question, I need to do a bit of research. Harry will suffice for that. What? I guess I'm obligated to write about the ship lockdown since it's life-threatening or something. I don't even know why we carry these PDAs. Seriously, no one's ever gonna go back and read this shit. <laughs> you editorialize that one. <laughs> The groom like we got a 300% funding increase, and I have a feeling we're about to see more shady bullshit with it. Welcome over with the groom like where as far as the universe is concerned, you don't exist. And as far as the board is concerned, you don't exist. Nothing actually exists. Humanity's gonna flip their shit. So Grant's gay. I <laughs> had seen him checking Harry out. Lips are sealed. That's the best twist. <laughs> It's going to be a long, painful death if we don't get those rations soon. I might have to start murdering and eating my blockmates. I'll start with Grant, because he's got the most meat on him. Harry's, a, Harry's the last, because I'm in no hurry to put that in my mouth again. That, you editorialize that one, too. Probably. <laughs> hey, someone's making booze. Humanity has finally reached the apex of engineering. Space moonshine. Huh. <laughs> 
Taste 0 out of 10. <laughs> Effectiveness 10 out of 10. This shit has to be at least 120 proof. Had to do something I totally don't regret to get it, Wait, that's, and it was that, worth that's it. That's a smile to my eye and a tear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> like you're surprised you're running low. Food supply is high. I'm disappointed. Here's thing I'd be enjoying moonshine marinated leg of Graham this evening. Disappointing. At least I didn't starve. On one hand, something exciting happened. On the other hand, we're probably going to die or something. I have no regrets. Not even that thing I did to get the moonshine. I've been thinking about the last couple days, and I seriously can't think of anything to regret. Not even not hooking up with Harry, not pursuing music instead of physics, nothing. It's all part of what made my life mine. Life carries on no matter what, so I guess just to be satisfied with what little I did accomplish. The universe swallows you atom by atom eventually, and I'm proud of how far those atoms made it from where they first got together to form Shelby Isaacson to where they are now. Huh. What a great Christmas. Sweat and mildew. How could you possibly still smell sweat over what must be in that room? Episode 3, Sweat and Mildew. <laughs> and the mildew, for that matter. How could you smell that stuff over gigantic fungal growths of bodies? That's that's some serious it's... stank. It's some hooba stank. Oh yeah, so randomly there's just like British kids saying poetry. Is anyone there? They didn't care. Hello, is there inexplic inexplicably a survivor in this room? <laughs> With the creepy poetry kids. <laughs> Remarkably shiny. So where the other ones are explained by security holograms, these are just never explained. Strangely huh. wistful look on his face. Just children <laughs> reciting uh, poetry. All right, who wants to read this one? Uh, sure. You know what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. The shit I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean it. My job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my coworker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. <laughs> Isabella's been talking to me. I hope she doesn't get have any ideas. I'm not really into that. Even if she was a guy, she's just so difficult to deal <laughs> with. I think she purposely leaves some shadow of a doubt that she might have some, fe some feelings for Harry just so he'll hang around. The poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy. But it's also the teeniest bit sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jupiter is finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's Aww. big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. He thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Really, I don't. She gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. I love that little kitten. Big kitten. Isabella smacked Harry straight across the face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I would have been flattered. Poor guy. Everything's so uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing? I've been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so, but I want to make sure. It would help me sleep a little better. Interdepartmental pool to win 64 days of leave? What a joke. Kitchen security and maintenance aren't even eligible when they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh wait, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> that's fair. This fungus shit's everywhere. It's already in the methane collection plant. Shelby's such a cow. She says she hopes it gives me cancer? <laughs> but that way I could start over with new organs courtesy of Cane Corp, of course. I told her there was only one organ I really wanted, but that Harry was too busy following Isabella. <laughs> Shelby says, oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. <laughs> but I'm not a girl. <laughs> could have been worse. I just hope she can keep a secret. So ham-handed. <laughs> This mushroom plant the hydroponics came up with is not working. If anything, it's made life in the plant just a little more grueling. And people have been complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear it's not the plant. I can smell it too. Emergency rations. I snuck some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I noticed just today that Harry has the most adorable way of stuffing his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite and shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, the simple things. Powers out in places around the ship. Hopefully the plan isn't next. That sure wouldn't end well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the Tremors. I can only make assumptions. Oh god, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all this either. He's such a little guy. I've been following Isabella around to get closer to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he could ever care about me. Those guys who went to work on Station B haven't come back yet. 
I've been trying to sleep as much as I can now so I, stay, so I can stay on my toes and everything goes to hell. I've cried a little as well, partly because of Jupiter and partly for reasons I don't understand. Oh my god. I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. Ah. I just know it'll confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here, but Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know. Will I ever have a chance to open my heart to someone? I have to hope so. I just can't tell Harry. Ah. So I guess who the last PDA is? Harry's. I assume Harry. This corpse has been savaged. It got savaged? Huh. I'll never get used to it. Alright, who wants Harry? Yeah, sure. Belle says she's fine, but I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Okay, this is May. I had a nightmare that Belle killed herself, so I checked on her just to be sure. I hope I didn't wake her. Grant wouldn't have checked on her. That dick doesn't know how to care for a lady. Not a lady like Belle. I sure hope nobody catches me growing these herbs. Space is so empty and cold, and Belle seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught, but if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. Well, Belle seems he super on. frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong because she got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angrier every time I speak to her. She's upset and I can't do anything about it. She spoke to me today. I'm so glad everything is okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. If she only knew, she'd feel so special. God, I remember being a teenager. <laughs> this guy's in his 30s. Granky's bring his goddamn cat into the <laughs> sleeping block. I'm allergic and he knows it. I should need a shot of epinephrine every time I go to bed. He thinks he's a badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. Bell probably thinks he's so cool. Why can't you see that he's a total dick? I decided to stay on the Groom Lake so that I can be with Bell. I don't like it here, but I love her. Some guy in engineering says there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I bet I could hijack a lifeboat to fly Bell home. What? <laughs> the fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea, though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out the alien one? I honestly don't think it'll work. I suggested it as a joke at first, but Belle thought it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. Grant's been following Belle and I everywhere. I know she thinks she, he can keep her safe, but I know he can't. He's so full of himself. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good fucking riddance. The guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe now Belle will understand that he's not fit to protect her. I think I'd die for Belle. It's pretty much been established that something's running around and killing people. I'm going to fight it when I see it. I'll only get to bell over my dead body. She'll die knowing that I gave my life just to tack a couple of seconds onto hers. I, I appreciate that. Th that's a little better writing than some of the others. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was about to get. <laughs> Wait, does that say sleeping cat? No. I think sleeping cot. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, we have to get some bed sheets out of here. I've been funny, been cool with the lines. Ain't that the way love's supposed to be? What? It, it's a line from Jesse's girl. Okay. <laughs> you know, Rick Springfield. I don't, but I'll pretend to. He's just so at a concert over here. He's still relevant. Hmm. I don't doubt that. I'm just not hip with the teens. That song came out in like the early, like okay. late '80s, I think. I <laughs> yeah, I'm not or, hip or, with early any teens. '90s, maybe. The, the teens then are, uh, you know, 40 now, probably older. I'm also. Oh shit! Oh shit! 1981. It's older than I thought it was. It's older than all of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is 36 so this years is another, old. This is another very confusingly laid out place. Like, did you know you can go oh south God. in this room? What? God, John, you're gonna get Wait, which way is south? It's at three quarters perspective. Uh, okay, south, south, east. We're already waist deep in the ship's piss pit. We don't need to worry about bad geometry, too. Security level classified. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that completely destroys the point of a classification system. <laughs> you security can't know level my security classified. clearance. Also, some of these people, some of the people in this in this upcoming area will have photos, and some of them won't. I don't know why. You're not cleared to know my clearance. <laughs> now, the, the alternative is that classified is a class of security level, as in what? You like can he's look allowed at... to look at classified stuff? Yeah. <laughs> 
like clearance is rated and top secret, etc. Oh god. What? Welcome huh. to the bucket of mud. Is that the Yeah, huh. it's the one from earlier. Also I'm gonna point oh the the titty twister was the main one mentioned earlier. Oh right. We don't get to see the titty twister. Good. It's okay, judging by the bucket of mud, it's not gonna be better. Also, I'm gonna point out that the music inside the club is different than the music we heard outside the club. Yeah. Well, sure, now that we activated the motion detectors. Alright, everyone, business tip, don't gotta pay a hologram. Oh no, they're security level three. We're allowed to know his security level. Maybe he's allowed to look also, at things mark three. Also, the important line out of this is that... <clears throat> Um, John knows that these bodies were definitely skinned. Yeah. Yeah, they put a lot into that. Oh, who wants to read another PDA? I think there's actually two of them in here. I'll, I'll take one. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the other one. This is my burden to bear. Oh boy, Stacy Dippinar. Tammy and I had a great evening together. This mystery alcohol is pretty much a miracle. It made my throat burn terribly, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, I thought I was literally going to starve. This stupid fungus crap ruined all the food. Finally got a delivery and it was great to eat something. The new food isn't as good as the food Hydra makes though. I wonder if Kane Corp would let me volunteer for Project Seed. Surely they give you some great benefits for volunteering. You do have to have been pregnant before, I Ew. think. Do abortions disqualify you? I'll look into it. Nope, they need volunteers who have actually birthed a baby or miscarried late in the pregnancy. You also have to be at least 18 years old for whatever reason. How can you know I was 17 anyway? I thought those documents looked darn realistic. Oh well, I guess I didn't want a bunch of experiments on me anyway. I'm literally freaking out. The Groom Lake went like boom and then stuff started falling and shaking. I almost got a fork stuck in my neck. Jeb got caught under a bed. And I feel bad for calling him a creepy old man all the time. I had a good idea. I said we should use the tubes that we send the experiments through to get people to medical because the trams are broken. Everyone loves me now. Tammy's going to help. She's so brave sometimes. I go too, but she said not to. She's kind of like a mom to me. But she says that would be weird because we're best friends. Tammy's not back yet. I don't know what to do. If I never had that stupid idea, she'd be okay. It's my fault. Robin says it's not my fault, but I know it is. I'm just so stupid and useless, like I was at home. I don't even have a home. All I do is hurt people. I wanted them to get me. I killed Tammy, and now it's my turn. Zane carried me to the recreation area. I kicked and screamed as loud as I could, but he dragged me in anyway. I wish I could be a good person like him. I'm useless. I think I'll sit by the door so they get me first. Maybe I could buy everyone else a second or two. I'm starting to notice a theme here. Yeah. Well, judging, there's, yeah, there's... judging by the dates, she's the one who lived the longest like so far, I think. I have not yeah, been well, able to I think parse everybody, these dates. I think... I think the narrative we're getting here is that everybody holed up in the uh, in the club. This is a drill. <laughs> I think he's saying that because this is the like the fifth puzzle we've solved with this. Yeah. Just just jam the jam the drill in it. Oh, lucky. Hello, Q. Lucky. Also, there's some. Also, there's some teeth. <laughs> Despite what I've been through, I still love space. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually in space! Thanks. A whole lot of people have been here, but you really don't appreciate the cosmos until you see it from beyond Earth's atmosphere. This is only something to be taken for granted. If I could, uh, I hope this is the beginning of a long journey. I don't miss Earth at all. Unbelievably, the gazes of passing asteroids are less cold than most humans. It's amazing to see all the constellations up here up close and personal. Uh, I've started writing a comic about myself. I don't space think he adventure. understands constellations. Is he, is he writing Space Quest 4? <laughs> My comic book's coming along nicely. I decided I'm not going to make myself a superhero, but I'll lead a team of super geniuses. Use the power of the universe to save him. My sidekick is Carl Sagan. <laughs> I, Einstein pilots the bride pond. I get it. And Hawking crushes stuff with his cybernetic <laughs> limbs. Issue one is done. I like him. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Despite what I've been through, I still love space. I've seen enough movies to know how this is going to end for me. I wish my comic books hadn't been lost in the Tremors. They were pretty much my final testament. I even finished issue 6, where we destroy a race of parasitic squid guys, except we keep one as a pet and train to fight for us. It also bites Einstein, who gets a cool scar as a result. <laughs> anyway, it's too late for that. I'm going to spend my final days looking, taking the universe through any window I can find. Peace out, universe! <laughs> it's, it's all Life is what you make it. <laughs> That's the also first uh, PDA I genuinely enjoyed. 
Yeah, it's a little cringy, but yeah. What? Okay. Why could I need to steal a lighter from that cigarette machine. Why couldn't you have drilled that? I, uh, cause there, why, why, I, I have a pool cue, look. Why do you need the pool cue? <laughs> so I can break the, I can break open the cigarette machine. Jesus, James, get on board. Use the drill. No, the drill's for the hologram emitter. Also, I'm taking a pool. What do you think the hologram emitter is going to be used for? Uh, decoy for a monster. All right, James. Um, let's see. What are we going to use the hollow stripper for? We're going to use it to activate an automatic door sensor. All right, all right. Audience, keep those in mind. Uh, we're going to vote. We're gonna vote. You're gonna vote right now. The vote's not gonna uh, change the outcome use... in any way. No, but it's important that they take vote, a side vote, on this vote issue. For your, vote for your favorites. One of these is correct. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that just got a lot more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, pay attention to this thing in the top right corner of the screen that I'm currently hovering over because this is the solution to the next puzzle. Oh. Okay. Up. 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 Up and up. So you notice, so you notice that one of these is fill, one of these is empty, and the bottom is the opposite of the top. Oh, yes. Okay. But only for the first ones. Although, I, the, does the pattern continue? No, the rest of them just fade off. You're just supposed to read the top and reverse it. Okay. And then check out the hook while the DJ revolves it. <laughs> <laughs> When I rock the mic like a vandal. Wait, when do vandals rock mics? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Didn't didn't the vandals die out in like the? Oh, oh yeah, God. cat scare. Literal cat <laughs> scare. <laughs> Literal cat scare. God. Damn God. Not even in the way that cat scare is normally used. <laughs> oh man, this is not going to well for Kitty, is it? <laughs> no, nah, cat's going to be fine. Cat's not going to be fine. It. Cat is going to be the monster. <laughs> right, come on, I'm waiting for the the monster to come up behind it, out of the pipe. There it is. I can't All right, underneath. <laughs> No, that's not good writing. I'm taking the writer's license away. I can't believe that just happened. Isn't it? It's clever because it's unexpected. Oh, who wants a who wants a PDA? Zane, sure. Every single day, Grant brings his poor little cat to the plant. I swear to God, it's gonna die of methane in inhalation. Nope. I did a number on my ankle. Doc says I'll need to keep any weight off it for a few days. I hope Grant can pick up the slack for me. Some of these idiots think that the fungus spreading through Groom Lake was caused by aliens. This place is disgusting. Of course it's going to be overrun with mold. Excuse me, it's the Bride Pond. A few guys tried to get Tram Station B repaired. I wanted to go and help, but I don't know shit about trams or stations. Anyway, they haven't come back yet, so everyone's more than a little worried. The guys in Sleeping Block B are absolutely fucked. I'm reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it in. Poor girl's too young for this. That's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? Who reaches a point in their life where they figure they're ready to be ripped apart by God knows what? Wait, I thought the cat- Also, if you notice the- if you notice the diagram here, we're in the pipe that we were going under. Ah. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, stay tuned next time where we find out where we're going and what the solution to that puzzle is, and find out the answer to our our fantabulous vote. Yeah. All right.